Good morning guys and welcome back to the saw shop. So this morning we have a comparison. We don't have any cut videos to go with this one this morning, but we're just going to kind of do a comparison between Holst Pharma and Neotech. Now this is the Pharmac VW that uh, I have two of actually. Uh, what, the first, this one, uh, probably around $350. Uh, the other one got for that deal, if you guys seen the video about the $240 uh, 660. Anyhow, I got the new one. Hasn't even had fuel in it yet. Uh, for I was like 240 to the door. It was a heck of a deal on Amazon. Uh, so if you guys missed out on that, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it was excellent. I mean, for that price, uh, it'd be a good part saw if it was anything else. Even if you had a million 660s, it'd have been a great part saw for that. So um, this morning we're comparing the Holst Pharma and this Pharmac, which is, of course, made by Neotech. Uh, it has the noisy cricket pipe on it. It does better than stock, uh, but the noisy cricket pipe doesn't do as good on the 660 as it did on the 372 Holst Farmer. You guys go check that out. There's several videos of that. Um, but it does better than stock because I put the other, an original muffler back on it, and this one's doing better. Uh, we're getting ready to put a big bore in this one, which will have the same top end as this one. If you guys check out yesterday's video, it's the Montello uh, 56 millimeter top end. Really super happy with the porting numbers on that. The longevity of that cylinder, we're only gonna be able to tell through time, okay? Uh, we had somebody, I had somebody mention on there about highway cylinders. I'm absolutely all the way, all the way for highway uh, cylinders, okay? Made by highway. But uh, there's another video, you guys go, it's called Bulletproof Saws. Uh, you guys go check him out. He is, uh, did a video on comparing highway cylinders to Holst Pharma and some other cylinders and was doing some explaining on how oftentimes they're the same cylinder, guys. Okay, so go check it out. But this Montello cylinder has awesome port numbers and it also uh, it also is very affordable. I mean, we're talking for 50, 60 bucks, you can get the top end, okay? And again, I have ran that top end in two of my saws. One is currently in a Holst Pharma 660 uh, milling saw that I use on my Norwood PM14 chainsaw mill all the time and is doing very well. So time will tell and uh, we'll keep reporting about that, okay? Uh, but it's a great option, it really is. So this morning we have a comparison between these two saws, okay? Uh, so the Holst Pharma comes with your standard regular air cleaner okay and depending on what you like uh this one has a the pharmac has a pro air filter in it okay so that's this the foam rubber air filter that you need to put the oil in and all that kind you know put the oil in the foam rubber and all that kind of stuff <coughs> the pharmac also has the hylic standard uh carburetor okay to where host pharma the one in this one i can only there's no markings on it. There's some numbers. It's not, it's not Hylix. So it's a generic brand as well. Uh, but, but runs very well. I can't say anything negative about it because it is a beast. Now this one has horns on it. And I did this saw in the beginning of the channel. Okay, guys. And, uh, I seen some muffler mods on YouTube and that kind of stuff. And I wanted to do something different. Everybody does, uh, the same kind of thing. So I wanted to do something different. Yeah. I was kind of made fun of, by a few people about having stacks on my on my saw and this and that. Hey, and I get it, okay, it was different. But I can tell you this, the original horns I cut off to do dual exhaust, maybe a quarter inch out, and I lost all kinds of power on the saw. Agree with it or not, this setup with the horns, and of course it's the Grim Reaper, uh, uh, it lost power. So it does really, really well. So that tells me that it's pulling. It's pulling through these longer longer stacks, okay? Uh, because, like I said in the beginning, I had a lot of people poking at me, <laughs> poking at me, poking at me for no reason. No, I'm just kidding. Poking at me over these, over these uh, horns, okay? I cut them off. Well, I, I built another one because, I mean, it just killed its power, okay? So it, it makes a big difference. Don't be scared to try different things, guys. Don't be scared to try different things, okay? Uh, now, this one started off life as a blue thunder. This, this color scheme is all, this was all me. 
This was paint that is chems that is fuses with plastic. And so it's done really well uh, as far as the plastics go. It's adhered really well to the uh, to the uh, the casing. It's dirty. You guys never see a saw in my shop this dirty, but I did some cut videos last night and didn't get to clean nothing up. But uh, and this one, of course, comes that way. It has the carbon fiber look alike, kind of like Hulse Pharma, but this one is not that. Again, this one started as a Blue Thunder. Uh, but so that's kind of some of the differences. As far as this one's running a uh, Neotech uh, 660 top uh, cylinder, top end cylinder, which we showed you guys yesterday in the video, or I did, we didn't show, there's not two of me, I promise. <laughs> and what, what we showed yesterday, and this one's running the Montello. Uh, yes, almost 100 cc is against 92. Uh, uh, so there's a big performance difference there, okay? so. Here by around the end of the week or so, both of them will have the same top end. Uh, we're going to leave the noisy cricket pipe on there until we can see how it reacts with the big bore. May just end up going back to a uh, something different, right? You know, a regular, uh, maybe just a slug hole, cut it off, and we'll, we'll see. If you guys are looking for a good 660, the the I would suggest, okay, I would suggest to go with the Neotech for two reasons, okay? You got the upgraded carburetor to the Hilux, okay? You have the upgraded, uh, in many cases, to the uh, Pro Air filter, okay? And their service, hands down, is better. Less hassle, I've dealt with both of them and have a good relationship with both service departments, okay? Um, really do. And I've dealt with Host Pharma several, several times uh, uh, over some th small issues and uh, neotech over again some small issues uh, when you deal with so many different saws we've had a lot of saws come through the shop in the last four or five months okay um neotech has been quicker to respond less questions about it and uh so so hands down neotech service is better guys so for those reasons i would suggest going with the neotech okay uh but Hulse Pharma is of great quality as well, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so here we go. We've got a uh, fuel tank by uh, Neotech, okay? And we have a fuel tank by Hulse Pharma, okay? Both out of parts kits, okay? And let's do a quick comparison. I've had this one open. So this one is, my right hand is from Pharmac, the one in my left hand is from Neo, okay? Now, when you lay them side by side, guys, there is essentially, besides this one being a little dirty from something, there is no difference, okay? The handle bars, the handle grip filled the same, both of the same sturdiness, okay? Uh, there, there really is, it's almost like, you know, uh, now for some reason, my Pharmac or uh, Farmer Tech one didn't come with a, uh, a fuel cap. They must have put it in a different part of the parts kit. But both have the transparent fuel tank, okay? Uh, which is an excellent option, by the way. I love it when I'm milling, that way I can see how much fuel I have left. Um, both come with a lot of a lot of the electrical stuff pre-installed, which is, which is nice, especially if you're not familiar with where all the little gadgets and doodads go and all that, that can save you a lot of time. This little boot and the hand and the uh, uh, trigger and all that can be tricky to put together. There's a spring in here. And so uh, usually uh, every time I put one together, a few things go flying before it actually gets assembled. Uh, but so side by side, if I got them mixed up, I wouldn't know which was which, okay? So I bring that up to say this, okay? A lot of the times, Neotech and Pharmac both outsource a lot of parts to parts companies, okay? So oftentimes you're gonna find the same parts in both clone companies, okay? Now, Neo does make some of their own parts, a few of them, okay? I, I've spoke with the, oh, the representative from, from Neotech and they do make some of their parts. They stamp their name 
on some parts that are made from other companies and they make some okay uh, oftentimes they try to use the parts that they've made first and if they uh, run out of uh, uh, stock then they go to parts that they have purchased from other companies okay and they sell both okay so side by side quality being what it is it's the same guys on these two on these fuel tanks they're the exact same uh, I can tell you I don't know if the, the camera's picking it up or not this one has a slight more orange tint to it nah it's just cleaner same tank guys so it's very possible that these two tanks let's see if we can find a part number on this I mean guys same part uh It'd be cool if I could find a parts number on this to see if they both came from. Yes, sir. So the part number on the bottom, now they could just share part numbers. It could still be made from different manufacturers, but it is PA66GF30. And this one is exactly the same, okay? So it is possible, okay, that this was made by a, the same company, sold to these two different companies, and then of course ultimately ends up at your home, okay? Or my home, or our saw shop. So, just wanted to kind of put that out there, that in oftentimes both are the same. I'm gonna tell you where it does not, is not the same, is when it comes to service. It just really isn't, guys. When you contact Holtz Pharma, they're a bit more, they're a bit harder to deal with. They just are, uh, they just are. And so uh, uh, you have to do a little bit more proving to Holst Pharma, which I get their company. They get a lot of people coming back at them. Um, oftentimes, uh, you know, it's about quality control to me. You know, I've said in the past that it's, I'd rather get a saw that hasn't been started for I can go through it to make sure that the cylinder piston isn't doing all the honing on the cylinder, a top end, right? But but uh, the quality control, Neotech has better quality control. I've had less issues out of Neotech out of the box than Holst Pharma. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm for both companies. I am not against either one. And so uh, happy with both. And so, yes, sir. So I appreciate you. You know what I just noticed? <laughs> the choke lever is broken on this one. Sure is. I don't know if that's me or not. I got extra choke levers. Yep, it's been broke off of this one. This would be the Farmac. Uh, Farmer Tech, rather. Huh, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to replace that for sure. Uh, but, you know, so they're they're both, they're both the same, the same part. Yeah, that kind of bothers me. Uh, but no, I've got, I've got plenty of choke levers. But that happens, guys. Uh, what was it in the Neotech the other day? Uh, I had a broken part on something. Uh, but again, you contact Neo. Neo says, hey, i uh, give you an option for like a $50 coupon or this or that. Or, hey, we'll send you that part out right away. No hassle. No hassle. And I have it like that now with Host Pharma as well. I can contact Host Pharma and they'll send me out something right away. But it's because I've dealt with them a lot. Uh, that's what I'm saying. If you guys have bought a Holst Farmer product and need service and isn't, aren't getting uh, answers back from them, uh, let me know and I, I should be able to help you out a little bit, okay? Just because I have a relationship with a couple other service uh, people that I email, okay? So they, they react well with me, but I'm 100% polite with these people, guys. If you want results back from somebody, that's just how you have to do it, you know? So I appreciate you guys stopping in as always. Uh, channel's getting larger. Uh, Please consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber and please hit that like button. It helps the algorithm. And uh, just wanted to put a quick video out there for you guys this morning before work. And uh, hey guys, as always, stay safe.